Oh man, would I rather have $10,000 in Casper or Cadena? This is gonna be the battle of the proof of word blockchain and your 11 grand will go up to f That's just an absolute life-changing, game-changing uh, kind of situation there. And your 11 grand invested today, you're talking f And now given where the SEC is going, I want to make a more conscious effort to add more I'm going to break down which I would rather hold and which I wouldn't. And plus, the returns we could expect to see from each of these altcoins. We're going to break down the market cap growth, where we think they could reasonably expect to arrive at in the next bull run, and whether I'm going to be holding each of these coins. If you like this type of video, smash up the likes. Don't forget to subscribe. It's important to understand that this is not a tokenomics breakdown video or a fundamental deep dive. If you want those on any of these tokens, you've got to let me know in the comments that Kadena a proof of work blockchain has been as high as $28 and has come crashing down here in the bear market like many other altcoins. Casper has held up a little bit better. You can see here Casper is still off all time highs, but you can see from the bottom to where we're at now, it is up 100% from the bottom and just about 80% away from all time highs here on Casper, which was sitting at about four cents. So we're going to break down what would it cost to buy right now, plus what type of returns can you expect? expect to see. Let's get straight into this guys. So let's start off here with Cadena. The price is sitting here at 0.59 cents. So 59 cents here to buy some Cadena. The market cap is sitting at about 140 million. Okay, so 0.14 billion. So if you wanted to buy 1000 Cadena today, it's going to cost you about 589 bucks. To buy 2000 Cadena tokens, it's going to cost you just over a grand. And for 20,000 Cadena tokens, it's going to set you back just over 11,000 US dollars today. Now, if we bring that down and we expect to see a 10x here from Cadena, which we got to remember, guys, all time high on Cadena is sitting at $28. I just showed you that. For a 10x here on Cadena, that would take the price to $5.89. Again, let me show you that on the chart. That is saying that Cadena can work its way back up to $5, just about here, right? This collapsed very powerfully from about $7.57 all the way down here in the bear market. So that's what we're saying it can recover. That's going to deliver you a market cap of $1.4 billion here on Cadena that would take your initial investment of $500 and get you to about $5,800. It would take your grand and turn it into 11 grand and it would turn your 11 grand into 117 grand. Do I think this is out of the realms of possibility? Absolutely not. If I was investing in Cadena, which I am to an extent, I've got a small part of Cadena in my portfolio at this current stage. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do with it shortly. I would be very, very disappointed if this project could not get to $1.4 billion in market cap. I know that sounds crazy right now, and this is a common theme right now. Whilst everybody's panicking in this market, we're watching videos like this, we're doing our analysis on all coins and getting our portfolios ready for the next bull run. Because right now, nobody can think in the bull run mindset. Everybody's thinking in a bear market mindset. And right now, yes, you're seeing a lot of these market caps hugely retrace. But to get to $1.4 billion in market cap, you're talking top 35. If I was investing in a project which could not break into the top 35, I would not be invested in it. There'd be no reason for me to invest in it if I did not think it could break out into the top list here, at least in the top 40, right? You'd expect that. That would get it to 1.4 billion. The more exciting level is that 50x. That 50x here on Cadena, which is hugely retraced, guys, from all-time highs. All-time highs would hit at $28 like I just showed you. Hugely retraced. Delivers you a 50x, gets you back to that all-time high level, and gives you a market cap of 7 billion. And again, in a bear market right now, 7 billion is not even crazy, even in a bear market. So even in a bear market, that's going to put you just here around the Tron level, just breaking into the top 10. Okay. So now, of course, granted, that's a lot of work for Kadena to do right now in the top 10, but in a bull market or on your run towards a bull market, you know, the top 10 are going to be flying. They, those numbers are going to be huge. And Cadena would not have to be in the top 10 in order to get $7 billion in market cap. So again, if I'm invested in Cadena and I didn't think it could get back into all-time high, 
I'd be very, very disappointed. And look at the returns you'll get on this, guys. A thousand tokens, which cost you $500 today, can spit out 30 grand here on Kadena. You're talking 1,000 will spit you out close to 60 grand, and your $11,000 investment could spit you out over half a million dollars, just returning back to all-time high. This is not talking about, you know, price discovery and going into the unknowns. It's been at that price before. And that's what's crazy here when you're looking at risk to return right now. Remember, the risk of trying to price price in and model in a new price which it's never hit before is far more difficult to do than going to a price point it's already been before. It's been there before in a previous cycle and so you'd expect it to be able to surpass that if they've improved their tech, if they've improved their team and that's where you've got to have conviction in the product. So now we're going to look at a 200x. This is where it starts to get juicy. A 200x gives you $117 here on your Cadena token and that is going to give you a market cap of $28 billion. Now, $28 billion in today's bear market cap is a lot, right? $28 billion brings you here at top four in on coin market cap, and this is amongst all the um, all the stable coins anyway. So really, you've only got Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Binance coin, which are bigger than that, granted. But you've got to remember, this is not about now. This is in a bull market. And in a bull market, we have seen price targets where all of these, you know, Bitcoin will be close to a trillion. You're talking Ethereum doing far better than it's doing right now, right? And then you'll start to see all coins filling that void underneath. And so looking here, do I think $28 billion is unreasonable for a project like Cadena? No. And I know that sounds crazy. A lot of you may be watching this and saying you're crazy, but that's not crazy to think that it can get to $28 billion. Now, the reason this is particularly interesting for Cadena and Casper, which I'm going to come on to shortly as well, is because right now we know the SEC are targeting a lot of proof of stake coins, right? Where have they been a little bit lighter on? Bitcoin forks, proof of workplace. So I can see this narrative of proof of workplace continuing to enjoy some momentum and some runs. So again, your thousand tokens, which just cost you $500 today is now sitting at $117,000. Your $1,000 has turned into a quarter of a million. And look at this, guys. Your 11 grand investment would have officially made you a millionaire twice over, sitting at $2.3 million. Again, that is saying that Cadena can go from where it is now, which is 140 million market cap, up towards 28 billion. I'm gonna explain shortly why 28 billion is not crazy. I know it sounds crazy, it's not crazy and you've got to bear with me so I can break this down for you. Then we're going to progress to some of the more craziest price targets before I come on to Casper. And again, it's very important to understand that there is a tokenomics warning that I've issued here on Cadena, right? If you want to see a tokenomics breakdown, I'll link that up for you guys to go watch on Cadena. I don't have one for Casper yet. If you want that, you've got to let me know in the comments and you've got to get this video to a thousand likes so I know that this is the type of content you guys want. You've got to remember, only 24% of the coins are in circulation of Cadena. So yes, Cadena is hugely retraced from all-time highs, but there will be people and more issuance coming in the market. There'll be more tokens being dumped. So you've got to factor that into your calculation, okay? When, particularly, you'll see how that matters when I price in Cadenas as well. So a 700X gets you to now $100 billion in market cap. And these are the price points, which I would never budget in. When I do my modeling like this before I buy a token, I have my base cases. These two wouldn't be my base cases. So if I've got a project like Cadena and I start investing, these are the amounts I'm going to lose, right? The amount I invest today. So if I choose to go light, I'm going to invest that much, medium or heavy. This is how much I'm going to invest in. If I mess up, this is what I'm going to lose. Now, my upside, I'm going, this is a base case. Definitely. This is very possible. And even that one there is possible. But these two here, I would never expect those to happen. If they happen, fantastic. And when I invest in five, six, seven, up to 10 different altcoins, let's say, a certain percentage of those will hit the moon cases. They will hit some of these and they'll outperform even what you modeled. But you cannot expect this to happen. You should not be pricing for these to happen because this relies on so many things going right for your coin to hit these price targets. So let's start off with the 700X, getting Cadena token to $411. That's going to mean $100 billion roughly, give or take here, on the market cap for Cadena. Again, it sounds outrageous, but I need you guys to understand that a project like Cardano, which I also hold, by the way, was sitting close to um, th these kinds of levels in a bull market without being launched, right, before the Alonzo smart contract platform was built, right? So this is the kind of mindset you have to remember when the FOMO kicks in in a bull market, everything becomes elevated. Bitcoin sets the pace, Ethereum starts moving, and the different altcoins move behind. So you have to think in that mindset when you're doing your modeling as well. And then I put in the crazy one, which is your 4,000 eggs getting Cadena to 2,300. And that is the size of Bitcoin, right? That's crazy, but that's the size of Bitcoin even right now here 
in this bear market. So again, you're making the argument that Bitcoin continues to do what it wants to do. Maybe it goes to 1 trillion, it doubles from where it is now. Maybe it goes even more, 1.5 trillion, maybe 2 trillion, right? Loads of people calling crazy price targets on Bitcoin. That's for a separate video. And then you're arguing that, oh, look, Kadena could be the reserve. It could be the backup. It could be the other proof of work chain with more scalability, more efficiency, right? People can actually use it. And maybe then you can justify that in a bull market. Why can't it get to 500 billion? That's the argument you're making there. But again, I would never plan for that. But that's going to turn your $500 into 2.3 million and your 11 grand will go up to 47 million. That's just an absolute life changing, game changing uh, kind of situation there. But you would never price that in. Very, very important. You wouldn't price that in. You make sure your more sensible targets are what you're modeling for and what you're aiming for for your investment. Now, how does that stack up to Casper? Because the question a lot of you will be thinking is, I've got a little bit to invest. Which one do I go into, right? Both proof of works. Maybe you've got some proof of stake in your portfolio. Maybe you've got some Bitcoin. You've got some Ethereum as well. And you're thinking, I want some alternative plays. I want to, I want some proof of work in my portfolio. Which one do I go for? Well, let's do the same exercise. Let's now take a look at Casper sitting at two cents. Two cents right now, but it's important, guys. Two cents versus versus um, Cadena's 59 cents does not mean that Casper is cheaper. You have to look at market cap. Does it remember? I know a lot of you will know this already, but there's a new crypto investor trader board every single day. It's important we explain that to them. Two cents here is not cheaper than 59. Look at the market cap. It's sitting at 460 million versus the 140 million of Cadena. So roughly, you're talking three times more expensive to buy Casper uh, than it is to buy Cadena. You've got to factor that in, okay? So you're not going to get the crazy same levels of returns as a Cadena will. You're buying at a higher valuation on Casper right now. So if you wanted to buy 25,000 Casper tokens, it's going to cost you $580. I tried to keep the same numbers invested as above. Again, your 1,100 quid is going to get you 50,000 and your $11,000 invested today is going to get you half a million Casper tokens sitting in your wallet. So now we want to get back to all-time highs. Again, same as we did for Cadena, nothing crazy. It should very comfortably get back to all-time highs. And in fact, if we look at the chart here on Casper, we're not far off, right? If you take the measured move here, you can see here we are not far off here from our all-time highs on Casper. Very possible for it to do quite quantum. So when we look at that as our base case, that's going to take our $580 and double it. Great stuff. And it's going to take our 11 grand and change it into 23 grand. Not too shabby, eh? not too shabby. But we want more than that. So let's keep going. Let's look at a 10x. A 10x gets us to 23 cents per token. And now we're sitting at $4.5 billion. Where would that put us currently? Let's take a look. $4.5 billion puts you here at between Shiba Inu and Avalanche. Okay, this is where you this is where you'll be sat here on Casper in order to justify that return of a 10x. And again, is it possible? Absolutely, it's possible. Now that's saying in a bear market, again, when all of these projects run, when the floor price of everything goes up, getting to 4.5 billion, I'm telling you guys from experience, and that's the previous cycle, I'm expecting a lot more money flowing into cryptocurrency in this next bull run cycle. $4.5 billion is not a crazy valuation uh, for a layer one solution, okay? And again, with it being proof of work, with that being, you know, an opportunity given the SEC attacking a lot of the proof of stake coins, I can see this becoming a hot narrative. Then we want to look at 100X. And 100X is where things start to get juicy, okay? Now we're talking getting to $2.35, okay? $2.35 and a $45 billion market cap. In current market, that's crazy. $45 billion will put you straight here above BNB. You'd be in the top three here, okay? It's insane. Now, you, after Bitcoin, Ethereum, you'd basically be the next uh, platform there, okay? Because you have to take out um, stable coins. That's crazy. But again, I've got to remind you guys that in a bull market, you start to see crazy things happening. Money will be looking to flow in places. And I'll remind you that Cardano was sitting there at those kind of price points, right? Up in that $90 billion area. $90 billion without smart contracts being launched. That's what happens in a bull market. You guys have to be aware of that. And that $90 billion, which I'm talking about there for Cardano, will give you a 200x here on your Casper tokens. So now we're talking your $500 investment could be bringing you to $117,000. Your $1,000 investment could make you a quarter of a millionaire. And your 11 grand invested today, if this gets to the size that Cardano was without having anything built at the time, guys, and I'm saying that not to shun Cardano, I hold Cardano, then nothing built at that time. It was just the alternative to Ethereum at the time, which was a concept and it wasn't built. You're talking $2.3 million there if you invest that 11 grand today. So these are interesting price targets and all of these you can rationalize. Now we're going to come onto the crazy ones. But before I come onto the crazy ones, it is always important that I talk about the circulation right? 68% of the tokens are in circulation, much better than the 24% here on Cadena. So you've got to look at the pros and cons. 
Casper is more expensive than Cadena pound for pound. Yes, it is. They're both proof of work. And again, this is not meant as a fundamental breakdown of these tokens. If you want that, I could do a head-to-head -head video where I break down the fundamentals. But from a tokenomics perspective, the Casper is more expensive, yes. But the circulation is far better. There's less dumping going on. They only have 32% more to be issued, right? Cadena has 66%, uh, sorry, 76% still needs to come into the market here. So there's a lot more Cadena tokens that need to be coming into this market. And you need to understand that. So when we're looking here, now we go to our crazy price target. And that is the 1200X to get you up towards Bitcoin size. Okay, and if you do that, if this gets to Bitcoin size, Casper, you're talking your 500 turns into 700,000, your 1,000 turns into 1.4 million, and your 11 grand turns into 14 million. Not as impressive as the Cadena returns, right? No, they're not. Because if you look at it, like I said, Casper is more expensive right now. And also, these does not price into the fact that more tokens will be issued. So it's not as easy to get these numbers. You've got to take that with a pinch of salt as well. So the breakdown is there. Which one do you prefer, guys? Do you prefer Casper? Do you prefer Cadena? Me personally, I'm going to be DCing into both these projects. When you look at how I might have built out my portfolio, I've got my Bitcoin, I've got my Ethereum, I've got my layer one solutions. Within those layer one solutions, I'm making a very definitive breakdown of proof of stake and proof of work. And never more so than now, given what the SEC are doing. That's very, very important. Now, if you remember, if you guys have been watching my Cadena videos in the past, why would I invest in Cadena? I'd invest in Cadena because it was a hedge for me. Everything in my portfolio outside of um, Bitcoin is proof of stake, right? And I was so right to do that because I didn't know ETH 2.0 was gonna happen. And then when ETH 2.0 finally came to fruition, even my Ethereum bit was proof of stake. So now everything is proof of stake apart from Bitcoin. So I had to add some Cadena. And now, given where the SEC is going, I want to make a more conscious effort to add more Casper as well. And if you want to break down, going into the fundamentals of each of these projects, how they stack up, there are some Cadena videos, which I'll already link up for you guys. But if you want some Casper ones as well, you've got to let me know in the comments. But hopefully this video gives you an idea of how I model up my pricing. Because everybody just sits there and goes, oh, can my token 1000x? I'm going to buy this token and FOMO into it and hope it 1000x's. What does it actually mean to 10x? What does it actually mean to 20x? Right? This is what it means. When somebody says, it can Cadena 100x? Uh, sorry, 50x? Yes, 50x just takes it to all time high. And so 11 grand invested today to get you 58, 000, uh, sorry, half a million dollars. Is that a good risk to reward? In my opinion, yes. Do your own research, right? This is not advice for you guys. If I'm sitting here and going 11 grand today invested to double my money here for, for Casper just to get to all time highs, is that worth it? Yes. Do I think it can 10x up to $4.50, a $4.5 billion market cap? Arguably, yes. And so if I'm investing 11 grand to get 117, is that bad? Nice. Now, would I price in these ones? No, I would never make an investment decision going, oh, I'm going to invest 11,000 today and it's going to turn into 14 million. No, there is so much that will go on between now and here that you cannot price that in. But what you can do is these middle ground ones here, right? Getting back to all time high, getting to the size of a project which you know is inferior or you've seen in a previous cycle and you're expecting this next cycle should be a lot bigger. There is the breakdown of what $10,000 in Casper and Cadena gets you. Which one do you prefer? Say one or the other. Is it Cadena? Is it Casper? Or are you invested in both? If you appreciate this type of content, then you're going to enjoy this video here where I compare HBAR to Cadena and I'll see you in the next one.